Zard and Diddy Kong near team. Uh, at one point, they wanted to go battlefield against the uh, Omika and uh, Gluttony. And at other points, they wanted to go find a destination. So I don't think even they themselves are sure what they need. Yeah. And Smashville, so very close quarter combat. Already got Falcon on stage. Wow, is that a thing? Another matchup that uh, Fire knows very well. A few months, like one or two years ago, one of the top players in his region used to play Falcon. And Neath is getting destroyed off stage, didn't manage to take the up B. And already lost the stop. Might be it for Falcon. No, okay, makes it back. Smash with platform. Always there for the low tiers. Recoveries. Oh my god, what's happening? Blue team getting spiked, stage spiked all over the place. So tense, I don't find anything to say. Very nice from Fire, getting ring of Fatality's first stock. Bad situation. Well, yeah, that might have been it. Just underestimated the car results wait a little. Team with the stage control. Very nice, both throws, both are off stage. What will they do? No flamethrower. No, oh, we went to low. Usually, uh, excellent recoveries coming from Fidelity. So, I guess every once in a while, he drops one of them. Doesn't look like a. Uh, Griffiths is too too worried about what's happening to Fatality. Like sometimes, uh, yeah, it's just getting at guard. Sometimes and Gr Griffith is coming way too late to yeah. him. especially like from Charles Alfred forward. Definitely the kind of situation where like you usually want to save your pocket falcon. The poor thing. Still very doable for Red Team. So much rage. Same. Wow, I'm surprised yeah, he, he, he just go. wants to end it there. Yeah. <laughs> he might actually even get it with a. Get in the kill in terms of kill power with an FB, but might have not connected entirely. That's probably it. Oh, very sloppy. Uncharacteristic of, uh, of the team. This upper is so strong, I don't even need rage. Was it like 120 at ground level? Did it just fine. So, this is the first game they have dropped uh, at absolutely. the beginning of the tournament. From what I think this is by far the, the strongest team they've met for. Well, who did they met? In the you know, he they did meet. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, no, is Man and Grail. Man and Grail. They, they, they met uh, individual strength players that are Man and Grail, who don't have uh, an amazing uh, teamwork. And uh, they did meet, the, uh, on the other hand, ZHT and Oragon, uh, who are good players on their own terms, but not quite top players. And But who do have uh, good synergy. And both teams, they just run through them. But this time, they have both strong players and good synergies. And it seems to be working out so far. It actually, it's. I, say, I, I believe it's the very first game that Fatality himself has dropped, including Cool. Where well, I wouldn't expect less, to be honest. Wow, there's a good call on the reverse of B. But that was well, singles, but in doubles, there's always your partner to help you out. Yeah. 
special consider the incredible emblem from uh, the Falcon Dive. So much of <laughs> so much of this game is played on the right ledge, and with, ca with characters such as Diddy Kong and uh, Captain Falcon, that's not what I would expect. Scary situation. Actually, this is this is a. Uh, Griffiths and uh, Fatality's counter pick. So I guess. I don't, know, I don't know what they're looking for exactly. They want space, obviously, but. Um, well, I guess they banned Grimland on Battlefield because, well, that, those two cards get so much out of it. Yeah. But, but then why not Final Destination? Th that's what surprises me. Uh, just if you want space, I, I take Final Destination over Black Hunt. Uh, against uh, Charizard, just because he doesn't get the up throw kill on the platforms. Just to make sure. Nice one. Fire. Oh! I missed it, I just saw the spike, what happened? Yeah, down throw, we dump the air dodge, okay. and down air, the classic. Th that's quite shocking, actually, because <laughs> all day today, it's been Fatality doing the classics, you know, waiting for Edelges and stuff like that. And we have to wait for win Winner's Final uh, to see him get hit by stuff like that. Okay, like the 15th B of this match, if it works. Very nice movement from Neath. Tiny bit of whoa, and the jump will be it. Yep, definitely. That was the last stop. So he has to get one from the partner. But at the same time, um, Griffiths was able to get a gimp on uh, Nif. Nif uh, did a really, really linear recovery. He didn't use a wall jump, he didn't use uh, an arc on his FB, so he got hit by the neutral air, that's his bad. Very nice. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Ah. And just Nif getting, I don't know, pressured. And all of a sudden, the game just dropped out of the hands. Yeah, they, they were going very well, like game one. But at the end, they got killed in some early ways. Very unfortunate, because even, even game two, which was uh, on their open counter pick, uh, and we could see sometimes, indeed, uh, for, uh, uh, Zard is way too far away to be able to help uh, GD and stuff like that. Uh, it did kind of work out in the end, well, at some point, and then there were like two games in a row, and uh, this very nice down there from Griffiths, just in one minute, three stocks gone. The final destination. Again, I, I'm not really understanding the whole counterpick things going on, because it's basically the same stage, same kind of stage, lots of space. Zod will have a lot of trouble landing, and Captain Falcon will not find himself of, find himself off stage quite as easily. But if it works, as it seems to be the case right now, oh, that was a good attempt. And a very good back throw from Rivers. One back throw, got stage control back, percentage. Having made sure that uh, Fatality is not coming back quite yet, uh, that he has to use uh, either his double jump or his B, just immediately goes to Hellfire. He doesn't even try to edge guard the uh, Fatality. Unfortunate grab, tossing his stock. Fire in a terrible situation. We'll probably go for a side B. Yep. Thanks to Nif having bought him some time. Wow, he was at 190. That was one angry foul. Nice, nice, very nice combination. 70 percent. It, fire finally drops his first stock. And even though the game is pretty much slightly in Blue's favor, that one opening that Blue, that Red Team had 
with a very nice string ended by uh, three of Adamity's uppers. Cost so much to blue team. Nice one. Then Smash won't do anything else than uh, gaining him stage control there. Oh, nice one! Oh. Just that does it again. But it, it's still good for Blue Team. Yeah, definitely. Showing Fidelity like, like you're not the only one that has a common grab off stage. Wow. Too bad for fire, nice conversion, but uh, not, not enough. Didn't get the second head of, of Smash. Very impressed by uh, Blue Team's calls. Like, even when they're fighting Fidelity one on one. They, they, they lose neutral often, but they don't get hit by the strongest 50-50s and stuff like that. They do get hit by charge-up smashes in the landing, though. Yep. The fire GT is right here. And fire just a bit too slow to come help him. That's it. One red out. Okay, that's what he wants. He didn't really understand. He wants Fire to hit him during the hit stun of the uh, side view kick so. Okay, has been gained back. Wow, wow, that was the <laughs> deepest of reads. The grab will do it, yeah, a dash up smash will do it. Basically undoable at this point. Very convincing. Like I was like, okay, this is probably you know the first games. So are getting used to fighting a Zod, uh, probably with a counter pickuse which will just change. But uh, two one lead for the French team, while the NATO team, well, yeah, red team is getting a very good percent on the opponents when they get an, an opening, <laughs> but it's not happening very often. And the blue team really just goes for some through hits and gets like already 20, 30, 30 out of it. Yeah. And it's being better at this moment. We've seen one very, very strong conversion from red team, like th that one combo, you know, where Neve yeah. was caught in the middle, which was very impressive, but didn't end in his stock being taken. Uh, so basically, only one shot burst of a lot of persons. While on the other hand, blue team just repeatedly gaining over stage control, getting some some few hits, like you, like you said, and more, most importantly, he moves, he moves in. So, and so we can hear the cloud coming out. Oh, also no really early kills from the red team, which are staple for the team they yeah, are. Yeah, using. that's true. We've seen a uh, fatality getting some like uh, fast fall uppers, but never got the, the new. Not sure why. Perhaps double. Change. I guess he's getting confused. Yeah, between the players, like, yeah, uh, yeah I'm just sending this one, then it's the other. Not easy for sure. Wow. wow, and Nif is giving pressure so much, and yeah, Fire wasn't able to go help him. Yeah. Zod is pretty sluggish, vertically speaking. He moves fast on the ground, but that's all. So, from what I've, uh, I've heard, and I've uh, I've seen uh, <coughs> Zod players say, don't get mad at me, Silent Doom, if you're here, but um, the Zod uh, cloud matchup is uh, uh, easily in Cloud's favor, but it's rare to come across a Cloud that actually knows the matchup and plays it correctly, and so uh, Fire has told me that in his opinion, uh, of all the Clouds he's faced, oh! Okay, I was about to say, save him as a down air, but no. Of all the doubts he's faced, he has faced very few that actually know the matchup and make him feel like it's uh, awful for Zod. So I'm thinking he's feeling rather confident facing Griffiths' cloud with doubles. <laughs> what a read! Wow, the strongest of read. I, I was expecting something like that, you know, he did a tomahawk. He was looking for something, but I'm like, yeah, he, he's probably going to just throw him at a uh, fatality with a side B. But no, none of that. And Nif playing with a, a quick 70%. <laughs> and that worked! 
Oh. Sometimes. But, what, <laughs> just blew a fuse. Uh, it's such a bad move that you'd never really yeah. expect it. <laughs> but it just stayed perfectly still, you know. That, what's this move? I've never seen that before. Yeah, I never played for Glory. <laughs> And yeah, it's still looking pretty bad for Blue Team, but they did gain some momentum back. Even stage control right now. Oh, okay. So the mix is immediately you. Oh, nice one. Trash is down, down smash. And now no rage. Oh well. <laughs> oh, did he come? Just for you now, toppers. Goes my <laughs> such a good character, <laughs> Zard in the air with no double jumps. Should I, should I dodge now or just in two seconds? Anyway, it didn't change much. I guess this reach to Cloud makes very much sense because they were using two characters that were too similar one to the other, and uh, really doing the, the same role with both players, it's not optimal. Or yeah, usual. and uh, didn't even utilize uh, Mario's strengths in the both matchups they had. Like, he didn't get any up smash kills, which is usually, you know, the, the go-to, easy, uh, in the confusion up smash kill. Yeah. Uh, so he, he did get one gimp at one point, but this time with Cloud, he's able to juggle Zard forever. L literally, uh, already uh, Fire had trouble landing, but right now he's just not landing at all. Uh, he did get this amazing read with uh, down B. Lot of stuff going right. It's a final destination, just a bit more space. Just a, a tiny bit less platforms. And already fire is off stage. Okay, he read he read the other dodge coming from uh Kadonti and tried to spike him but did not take the space when it goes out at all. for this sort of one. Four repairs, one grab. <laughs> this could be it. Oh, okay. Ever probably a bait to get uh, Fatality to run into it. Still makes it back. What? Ah, the treasury. Excellent for a throw from Fanality, giving him stage control, basically saving his mate. And that is Cloud, and it's dead. And it's alive. Yeah, very nice uh, save from Fanality again. Very aware. But he did put himself in a bad situation to that. And ends up, after a while, after uh, some uh, very intricate uh, options, uh, ends up paying for it. Oh my god! Oh, all right, all right. No rage on uh, Zod. I'm sure he wanted a dash attack there. I, I think he wanted a drop off down there. Fire cannot land. Take a shot every time fire is getting juggled and cannot land. Still alive. The limit is on deck, so. To 
too bad. He had the right option, the right idea, at least. He was like, okay, I'll just full hop and uh, bait him into doing an air dodge and then hit him afterwards. But he was very badly spaced for the up smash. I just rolled to that. Yeah, he did, he did like some tricky movements, wanted to read something from Neef, which uh, Saibi wouldn't even have killed, so it's really not really well played. Neef is right here. <laughs> okay. Now we have a terrible situation for Fatality. Yeah, he's on fight of this nation too, so there's really no no bullshit he can use when he's off stage. Just go to the ledge, get hit by Flame Oh wow. And repeat. I've been playing this game for two years. I've never seen someone use uh, a bit like that. It becomes the best option in the game when he's using it. Alive though. Nice. Oh, almost. The worst so throw in the game. And so the French defenders take it over NATO forces. Griffin and Griffiths are sent to losers.